Muljay, who wants to discuss the Quranic verses and wants to explain to me why Ooh. I was wrong about a specific verse. Now, Sweet. before we start, Muljay, I just want to preempt this because I have talked to you before. That, uh, and I just want to kind of give context here that your understanding of uh, Islam and your interpretation is a minority view. It is not the, uh, and, and that doesn't mean you're you're wrong or you're any more wrong than anyone else. But I, I'll just point that out before we begin, because when I when I read uh, things, I tend to do it from the academic uh, point of view and the consensus opinion. So this may be why uh, you find disagreement with me. But go ahead anyway, and let's see where we go with it. <clears throat> Yeah, hello. Uh, I just uh, called because last time uh, I didn't get the chance to explain uh, about uh, moon splitting by Prophet Muhammad. And uh, you told me uh, to go and read my scripture. In reality, I have read it and I found more than 100 verses uh, in Quran explaining about the miracle of the Prophet Moses, about a stick becoming a snake from the beginning to the end and what happens, the result, everything. And many verses that Quran says that, oh, Muhammad, you don't need miracle. We have given you the Quran. That should be enough. And then suddenly, one verse in Quran, chapter 54, verse 1, says that uh, <clears throat> the hour has drawn near and the moon has split, which doesn't say anything about such a great miracle if it happened. Who did it? What happened? How many pieces? And the, the result, what happened? People, uh, you know, believed or not. So I just called to tell you that I have read my scripture very well, and I absolutely disagree with these, um, you know, uh, extremist Muslims who say that the uh, Quran, you know, uh, uh, Prophet Muhammad split the moon and they make a lot of. I don't think uh, it's stories. extremist Muslims. No, they, they, these, these aren't extremists. This is, these, are, yeah. these are moderate mainstream individuals. This has been talked about for a very, very long time. So I, I, I yeah. don't understand this. I, I, I'm, hey, I'm with you, Muji, in the sense of like, yeah, there's some stuff in, in the Quran that kind of makes this seem like he wasn't actually splitting the moon and it was all metaphor. I mean, that's fine. We can take that approach. I don't disagree with you there. Um, but I, that adds a, another bigger problem that I think all religious texts have, which is what's your criteria for telling um, metaphor and uh, uh, similes from reality? Uh, I, I think that's a huge problem for religious texts. And I, I've never actually had a good answer on that. Um, but yeah, again, you then have to deal with all of the believing Muslims who say to you that you're just flat wrong, right? And not just like the, right. the, the billions of people alive today, but like the, the, the many, many generations of people that went back hundreds of years. Like that, that, this is a common thing, man. This isn't, this isn't just some random one dude said, yeah, he split the moon like for real, for real. It's not metaphor. Like a lot of believing Muslims, a lot of scholars have 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 said that it, it was for real. So what uh, what what do you say to that? Yeah, I just uh, yeah, I just have to tell you that it wasn't even metaphor. There nothing happened. It Quran simply talking about the hour, the last, you know, when the, the end comes, the moon will split. Yes. And how many pieces? He doesn't explain. So every the chapter explain everything about the hour and after. So I'm after pretty life. sure. But there is I'm pretty nothing. sure that the yeah. verse, and I, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure it's let's see, Surah Al Kamar, right? Fifth fifty four, and then Ayah one and yeah, two. Yeah, right. does that sound right? Yeah, and it no, basically it says the hour. Yeah. The hour is at hand in the present tense, and the moon has been split. Past tense. So it doesn't okay. sound like it's talking about the future pretty clearly. So. No, okay, but it doesn't, look, uh, you can uh, talk uh, in, in grammar, you can talk, uh, have past perfect in the future as well. So it, Yeah, I'm not disagreeing with that, but then you just have to show criteria yeah. as to how that's different here than it is every other place, that they use the exact same terminology to talk about stuff having happened in the past. That's fine. I'll All accept right. your answer there, but yeah. then you're on much shakier ground. 
Yeah, I have to tell you this. Uh, Quran chapter 29, verse 50 and 51 say, but they say, why you uh, are you not, uh, si sorry, why are not signs sent down to you, uh, to him from his Lord? Say, the signs are only with Allah, and I am only a clear warner. And isn't it sufficient for them what uh, we reveal to, to you, the book which uh, is recited to them? Indeed, in that is a mercy. Okay, I don't need to continue more. Chapter 6, verse 35. Chapter 6, verse 37. Chapter 6, verse 109. Chapter 6, verse 111. And on and on, I can tell you how many chap verses in Quran said, Oh, Muhammad, you don't need, uh, uh, what is it? They ask you for, for uh, you know, sign, uh, but you don't need any sign. So you can go and find yourself. So many verses in Quran says to Prophet Muhammad, you don't need a sign. So these are clear verses that Prophet Muhammad didn't have a miracle. The only miracle he had was Quran. I, yes. I understand. I understand what you're saying there, Muji. But the problem is specifically with the thing that I was just talking about right before you started saying all of this. Yeah. We were talking about tense mm -hmm. sequence, which is a specific way of uh, making a specific way of um, conjugating verbs, uh, right? So action words, words that describe things that happen, right? So in that verse, in that very specific ayah, it makes it pretty clear that it's talking in the past tense about the splitting of the moon. The moon has been split, right? And then you just went off on this 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 whole thing about like, hey, there's all these other verses in the Quran that say that says Muhammad doesn't need a miracle. Like, I'm fine with that, man. Again, I give you all the toys to play with. Like, yes, that is true. You are correct. Uh, but the issue is then now you're in contradiction with the Quran. You're the one that's. No, I'm not. Uh, in uh, on a, I'm in on contradiction a... with the, with the, with those who uh, say that Prophet Muhammad did it. Yes, I'm with, uh, in contradiction with them. Well, Prophet Muhammad Quran didn't do it. Saying... Allah did it. Allah did no, it. it. He did it yes, through but... Prophet Muhammad, just like he spoke the mm -hmm. words of the Quran through the angel Jibril. Right. Like yeah. I, it, nobody's yeah. questioning that Muhammad split the moon. It was Allah. Of course, Muhammad is just the messenger. Yeah. But what was part of that message? Yeah. It was splitting the moon in half, according to the Quran. The conduit. No, he was the it, conduit. It, as as he was. It. As he Muja, as oh, he was when. Because you've just said Muhammad didn't need miracles. And I, I don't necessarily disagree with that in the context of the Quran. It, nowhere in the Quran does it, as far as I'm aware, does it say that Muhammad personally needs uh, miracles. But miraculous things are attributed to happening in Muhammad's life. Like him taking the night journey. That's not a normal, unmiraculous event. That's a miraculous event which was, was uh, centered around Muhammad. So just because, uh, uh, you know, you think that Muhammad wasn't responsible personally for doing these things. And I'm, I'm pretty sure that last time we had the conversation, you said that the splitting of the moon wasn't in the Quran. Uh, and I, I may be wrong on that. And, you know, I'd have to look back and, and see if that I need correcting on that. But, uh, you know, and it was at that point that I told you that, you know, you should go and look at your, your Quran and, and look at that yeah. because it was, it is definitely in the Quran. Uh, and it is, no, it is I, attributed. Yeah. Uh, sorry, go on, go on, respond to that. Yeah. Yeah, I just uh, wanted to tell you that you said uh, pro it is not in Quran that, uh, it is in Quran that Prophet Muhammad split the moon. I said, no, it is not in Quran because it doesn't mention at all who split the moon, how many pieces, when nearly 100 verses in Quran says that uh, Moses, peace be upon him, uh, dropped uh, the stick and then it became a snake and then he picked it up and became again the stick and then so on. What happened that some people believed, some people didn't believe, all these things, uh, Quran explained. Even the split, uh, when he split the, the, the sea, the Red Sea, uh, Allah says after, he said, don't touch it, let it be, okay? So uh, it, this verse doesn't say, after he split the moon, what happened? Who put it back? Nothing about that. It's absolutely quiet. So I, that's why I say Prophet Muhammad didn't split the moon. This is just people who 
couldn't interpret these words, they started... But if to nobody put it back, we know. would have a split moon, regardless of whether Muhammad did it, or uh, Allah just did it himself, or he employed a small newt with wings and very sharp claws to do it. Uh, so the verse says that the moon was split, and if you're now arguing that, well, nobody put it back, we would yeah, still see whom? it split. By That's whom? clearly not the case. No, by, by Allah. By whom? Quran by Allah. No, yes. this, this, hold up. This, this surah, 54, is written in a very similar style to many other surahs in the Quran. It is clearly Allah talking to Muhammad. Like, if you go read the next verses, okay, so the hour has drawn near and the moon was split in two. Yet whenever they see a sign, they turn away, saying, same old magic. They rejected the truth and followed their own desires, and every matter will be settled, even though the stories of destroyed nations that have already come to them are su a sufficient deterrent. The Quran is profound in wisdom, but warnings are of no benefit to them. So turn away from them, O prophet. It is literally Allah speaking directly to the prophet. And that happens regularly in the Quran. So Allah is definitely saying he split the freaking moon in half through Muhammad. Like that's not up for contention. And the reason, the reason so many mainstream Muslims for literally hundreds of years have thought that way is because that is the plain reading of it. It absolutely is. And any other any other workaround you want to put on it, like, fine, man, I'll give you those toys to play with. But the problem is that then the entire rest of the Quran now has so many problems because you have to be consistent and you have to apply that across the board to all these other surahs, man. So, uh, again, like I, I, it, it's just it's strange to me that you're 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 arguing for this. Right. Like it. it it could just be you have an easier time just being like, hey, it didn't actually split the moon. Like, it's just a metaphor uh, and just dealing and just biting the bullet and just dealing with that, which, again, I, I don't think there's a good criteria for determining metaphor versus reality in, in these ancient texts. But at least at least you're not denying what the text literally says. All right. Now, I can uh, just tell you that uh, those who say that uh, Prophet Muhammad is split or Allah did it for Prophet Muhammad, whatever, then they, they have to recognize that Quran uh, contradict itself because there are... I yes, the Quran does contradict verses. itself. That's why no, abrogation but, is a yeah. thing. So, so explain to no. me, explain <laughs> to me the verse that abrogates this. What verse abrogates this? Which? I mean, there is no a verse in Quran that abrogates such a verse, okay? Yes, this okay, so then it stands according to the Quran. The Quran is where we get the understanding of abrogation. The Quran explicitly says that if we provide you another verse later on, it abrogates the first one because of Allah's great wisdom and power. So if there's no verse that abrogates this, then by the understanding the Quran itself lays out, bro, again, this is still real, according to the Quran. It absolutely freaking happened. It did, it did, it did. There is no other discussion. You can say it's okay. metaphor, um, that's fine. But then, I again, we have all these other no, problems. I didn't, say I didn't say it is metaphor. metaphor. Right, you said, said it's it talking about, about the, the end the times, but it's clearly it's not hour. talking about the future. Okay, it's about the hour, and it's explaining. So I can explain for you, but um, maybe it take uh, much time because it is about uh, the the hour, and then afterlife that uh, they reject all this, and then it goes to hell when it happens. They uh, people realize they uh, they say that oh we were wrong because they they rejected the signs and so on. But anyway, right. those verses Mujay, Mujay, clearly Mujay. say that Prophet Muhammad Mujay. didn't have a miracle. Mujay. Yes, yes. Mujay. Yes. Uji. I've, I've yeah. gone, gone uh, kind of, you say it takes so much time. I agree. We've got a lot of callers on the line and we want to try and get as, as many as possible. And we're kind of uh, like running tight already. So I'm going to let you go. Uh, give us a call back and, uh, you know, we'll spend some more time on, on that other subject you want to talk about.